Okay, so we're going to look at solving equations using our laws of logarithms. So the first one, we've got an equation, 3 to the power of x equals 20. So here we've got x, the term that, sorry, the variable that we want to find the value of, is a power. So we're going to use our um, understanding of logarithms to solve this. Now I've written this down here, it says a to the power of x equals n is the same as log base a n equals x. So if we compare this equation to this notation here, we've got that a equals 3, x equals x, and 20 equals n. So if we rewrite this in terms of logarithms, we've got log base 3, our value of a, of n, which is 20, is equal to x. Then all we need to do to find that value of x is type in that logarithm into our calculator. So we've got log base 3 of 20, which is this number here. I'm going to write it to three significant figures. So I get that x is equal to 2.73. The second part to this example is using the same process, but here we've got an expression as of, of, in terms of x as the power. So we know that here we've got log base 5 of 61 is equal to 4x subtract 1. So if we rearrange this to make x the subject, we're going to first of all add 1 to both sides, and we get log 5 of 61 plus 1 equals 4x. And then to find out what x is equal to, we can divide both sides by 4. So x is equal to log base 5 of 61 plus 1 divided by 4. And now I can just type in this side of the equation into my calculator. So we've got log base 5 of 61 plus 1 over 4. And we get that x is equal to 0 0.889 to three significant figures. We're now being asked to solve this equation here. So we've got 5 to the power of 2x, subtract 12 lots of 5x plus 20 equals 0. Now, it may not be obvious to see at first, but this is actually a quadratic in terms of 5 to the power of x. So if we let y equal 5 to the power of x, we're going to substitute y into this quadratic equation. So 5 to the power of 2x, just as a little note, if we square that, we get 5 to the power of 2x. That's our laws of indices. So that first term is equal to y squared. We're subtracting 12 lots of y and we're adding 20, which is equal to 0. Now we can start solving this quadratic by factorising So we've got y at the beginning of each bracket, and this factorises to y minus 10 multiplied by y minus 2. So we've either got that y equals 10 or y equals 2. In other words, we've either got 5 to the power of x equals 10 or 5 to the power of x equals 2 because y was equal to 5 to the power of x. So then we can use the method from our previous example to solve both of these uh, equations independently. So for the first equation, if 5 to the power of x equals 10, we know that log base 5 of 10 equals x. If I put that in my calculator, log base 5 of 10, we've got 1.43. So x equals 1.43 to 
to three significant figures. This one, five to the power of x equals two, log base five of two is equal to x, which again, using your calculator, log base five of two, 0 0.431 to three significant figures. Okay, this time we've got 3 to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of x plus 1. So this is a bit more complicated because we've got numbers with x powers, powers with variable x in them, on each side of the equation. Now there's a specific way to solve these and that's to take the logarithm of both sides. So we're going to start by doing log of 3x is equal to log of 2x plus 1. Now remember in our laws of logarithms, if we have um, the logarithm of a number to a power, we can bring that power to the front and then multiply it by the logarithm of just the number there. So we can rewrite this as x log 3 is equal to x plus 1 log 2. I'm going to expand that bracket on the right hand side now. So I've got x log 3 on the left and then I've got x log 2 plus log 2. I've now got an equation, a linear equation in terms of x. So I'm going to rearrange it to make x the subject. I'm going to bring this term to the left hand side by subtracting x log 2 on both sides and I get x log 3 subtract x log 2 that's equal to log 2. I can now factorise the left hand side of this equation as it has a common factor of x so I've got x log 3 subtract log 2, and that is equal to log 2. And I'm going to then divide by log 3 subtract log 2 on both sides. So x is equal to log 2 divided by log 3 subtract log 2 which I can then just type into my calculator. So I've got a fraction with a numerator of log 2. We're using that log button here which means log base 10 and then we've got log 3 subtract log 2 and I get an answer of 1.8 Seven one to three significant figures.